Dear colleagues, dear friends, I am very keen to address you today at the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the Center for Gender and Science. First, I would like to congratulate you. Your Center for Gender and Science has over the years become one of the most important drivers on the development of gender equality policies in higher education, research and innovation in the European Union. The Centre has coordinated or has been a core partner in a large number of EU-funded projects, which have been instrumental for the advancement of gender equality in the EU research and innovation system. And let me also mention Marcela Rinkova, the Centre's director and founder and her team, who has been the key person behind the Centre's development and achievements. Second, let me reflect briefly on the future. Moving towards a gender equal Europe, as set out in the European Gender Equality Strategy, requires promoting gender equality in all areas. Women are still underrepresented in fields such as science, research and innovation. To change this, it is crucial to address gender stereotypes and segregation in education. At the European Commission, we are stepping up efforts to close the gender gap in research and innovation and empower women to tackle challenges like climate change or the COVID-19 pandemic. Through Horizon Europe and the new European research area, we have adopted specific measures to support talented women in pursuing their scientific careers and break down structural barriers that are preventing them from realizing their full potential. Mostly, we introduced a new eligibility criterion for Horizon Europe public bodies, research and higher education institutions will need to have in place a gender equality plan to be eligible for EU funding. Gender equality plans are our key instrument for creating inclusive workspaces and driving long-term institutional change at research and innovation organizations. Another novelty in Horizon Europe is that the integration of the gender dimension in research and innovation content becomes a requirement by default. It is our ambition to ensure that all research outputs and emerging technologies are gender sensitive and thus beneficial to European citizens in all their diversity. Specific support schemes are also foreseen under the widening participation and strengthening the European Research Area work program of Horizon Europe for addressing gender equality in academia and attracting more women into STEM careers. Our goal is to improve the European research and innovation system and to create gender equal working environments where all talents can thrive and better integrate the gender dimension in projects to improve research quality as well as the relevance to society of knowledge, technologies and innovations produced. And I am convinced that with these measures and also your contribution, we will transform the European research area to become more gender equal and inclusive and empower women to thrive in their research careers. I am looking forward to our continuous cooperation. Thank you all for your tremendous work and wish you happy anniversary. <laughs>